What's going on my friends? Uh, Adam with Yackleberry, I'm back in the Yakshin. And uh, this is gonna be my first trip for 2019. And uh, I don't think I've been on a kayak and I don't think I've kayaked at all since probably last year on the French Broad. And if there was another one, I just don't quite remember it. But uh, anyways, we've been quite busy uh, settling down here in North Carolina. And we ended up buying us a, a, a real nice space out here, country-ish. Uh, we've got about an acre and a half, which is plenty. Oh, I don't want to do a whole bunch of mowing. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> so I'm going with a couple of the boys, Tracy from Rubber Duck Productions, and then of course Pete from the River Kings, and I think he's bringing his, his son, Petey. So uh, we're going to be hitting the Hall River on a section that I haven't done yet, which is going to be good. So uh, always good to have new, <clears throat> new experiences. Uh, this Saturday, May something, and uh, I'm kind of behind the eight ball as far as uh, getting started on my on my kayak and stuff and so I got to catch up there's other people who've been out kayaking several times so I'm trying to get it going but today I'll be taking uh, today I'll be taking the Prion Yukon uh, because we're supposed to be going into some that's gonna have a little bit more moving water although the water is low today uh, we looked last night it was about 2.5 feet uh, give or take so who knows what it is today there was no rain uh, there is rain the forecast today in fact um, some maybe some thunderstorms about 11 I think and maybe 1 o'clock but who knows so anyways the Peon Yukon's coming with me anyways I'm gonna get on the road head over to Pete's house and we're gonna get this party started for 2019 so I made it out here to Pete's house and he's getting stuff loaded up on the trailer <clears throat> and he knew I was gonna wear this get up but he decided um, that he wanted to look like me and I appreciate that I honored yeah. me in, in some way or something this like that this is the new River Kings uniform yeah yeah so it's blue black and and some brown cross yeah so there you have so tracy joined joins the party in his new truck tracy's been down now for a little bit but he got him a new truck and got his boat on here ready to rock and things did get a little bit stranger as pete and i was matching and then kevin with one electrician comes up he decides he also is going to wear a blue shirt dark britches and then if that wasn't crazy enough, oh, Tracy here shows up. Blue top. Pretty sure that we didn't have that worked out, but it just turned out that way. Oh, the socks. It does. It matches the boat and everything. Ooh. And his shoes. Neoprene. That's what I mean. Look Neoprene at that. socks. <laughs> Is it? Mm -hmm. So your feet won't get wet? Mm -hmm. oh. You don't want them to get wet on a cold day like this. Yeah, it's freezing. <laughs> it's brutal. Well, I, actually, I actually have under quilts for these shoes. <laughs> under quilts for this shoe? Yeah. Whoa, what's up? You want to ride with Tracy? Sure, that's fine. I'm and down with not. it. Logistics. I don't, I don't think there is any gas station between here and there. Can, can we pee now? Yeah. I just run up here and the truck. let's go here in the woods. No, you're right. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Right I'm, there, I'm, but I don't want, right I don't want to take the camera. All right, so here we are. Tracy's been kind enough to let me ride in his truck, his nice new truck, which is awesome. He's got one of those little backup video. That's pretty cool. But uh, we're we're all loaded up and fixing to head down to the Hall River. I'm not exactly sure which section. Pete says lower hall. He could just be messing with me because that's where it starts getting pretty juicy down there for an amateur like me. But uh, first thing we're gonna do is hit a. I think we're gonna go to uh, Biscuitville so I can get a muffin at Biscuitville and then we're gonna head out. Tracy's gonna be putting out an awesome Rubber Duck Productions video so y'all stay tuned and, and, and look look for that one. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. He did bring your camera. Yes, he brought sir. his camera, that's how no one's gonna be out. So look for that in, in uh, on his channel. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, Rubber Duck Productions, I think the duck, the, no, Rubber Duck Productions is P-R-O-D-U-K. T I O N E S, right? If they're looking for it. B U C K T I O N S. Oh yeah, that's right. Duck, just like duck. B U C K T I O N S. Productions. All right. Sure. So we didn't stop at Biscuitville. Instead, down here at Saxby Hall, they have a general store which everybody seems to like, and they make kind of some I don't know homemade type of foods. I ended up getting the uh, sausage, egg, and cheese uh, croissant. And uh, so, anyways, we're heading out. Pete there in front of us in his new trailer. He's got to pull, look like six different kayaks. Uh, I think he said something like it's convertible to uh, carry canoes and stuff, so. so. Rubber ducky, go, go, go. 
Not showing in the video. Okay, here's the time. Oh, so far. Well, the I'm off to the farm. So you can't see me because I can't turn my camera on myself, but we haven't been on the river here about five minutes. Pete already has to take a potty break. GoPro, power off. So we're going to come over here and help GoPro, let him power off. take a potty break. <laughs> little man with a little bladder. You can't, you can't, you can't blame him. Too much tea, right? Yeah. Well, y'all peed in my driveway. There weren't any dry spots there. <laughs> I figured that was okay. Uh. That's just all the stairs over going. there. <laughs> He's shy. There's a lot of GoPros around here. He's shy. <laughs> 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 all right, again, so you guys can't see me because I can't turn my camera around. I only have a sticky mount on here, but we're approaching the first rapid today. Is this Falls? I don't know what this one is. Midget Falls is supposed to be coming up sometime. Is that a real GoPro? But, uh, Chinese. I'm gonna opt out of the skirt wearing for this portion. It's about 70, 70 degrees, so it should be alright. Pete says run this one to the right, so he's either gonna be right or he's setting us up. But little Pete's already up there ahead. He don't care, he's just gonna take it on. Hey Pete, there's a log across the, the good spot maybe. Pedro, hold up, wait for me. So Pete's got a little concern that little Pete's gonna make, maybe end up running to a log, so he's gonna go up there and Yo. check it out for him. Yeah, a lot of it, huh? <laughs> Pete is donned with three different uh, cameras. It's a bit excessive, but all right. Don't, 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 don't. Probably gonna get a little water on the boat, and that'll be all right. It'll be a little cool, but it uh, feels pretty good. I mean, the wind's blowing. Uh, in fact, it's supposed to rain here about 11 o'clock where we're at. So, uh, that'll make it nice and interesting, actually. But you can hear the old water up there running. <laughs> Again, I haven't been on this stretch, so each one of these rapids is new to me. Uh, so, it's kind of helpful to have somebody that's ran them before to kind of tell me which way to go. So, follow Big Pete here. River King Pete. <laughs> oh, this looks like a little, bit, a little bit of fun anyway. Let's see. A little bit of action on the trip. A little something to kind of break up the stillness. Filing in. That's the easy stuff right there. So let's just sit and enjoy this. Ba-doom, ba -doom. Nice and rocking light. So on this section of the Hall River, uh, I don't know if it's showing up on the GoPro yet, but it will be here shortly. But Pete's time. Got to pick our way through here. That's what Pete said. So got some beautiful rock gardens coming up here. He wants us to rudder up.
All right, so we got ruddered up. So we don't end up getting twisted sideways and snapping off. And uh, he just told us that the falls are up here ahead. Just a little bit. I think he said it was like a four foot vertical drop, which would be a lot of fun. But before that, preceding that, we get to do a little dance through this rock guard, which is gonna be pretty sweet. The day's feeling good. It's gotta be well into the 70s. I tried to skirt up, but for some reason, I couldn't get my skirt uh, Oh, and it kept popping off the back, so. Now that I got the, uh, now that I got the rudder up, um, I'm seeing how the Yukon can be uh, kind of difficult to, to, to manage. It likes to go all over the place, so, which is fine. That means when you're kind of in a sticky situation, you can turn it a whole lot easier uh, than you would otherwise, so. Here are some beautiful boulder gardens. Got Kevin ahead of me, the wonder electrician. So we'll see what kind of lines he picks. If he ends up stuck, then I'll pick something different. If he goes through, I'll take that too. He looks like he's going through sideways. I think he's eyeing something over to the right, but uh, it looks like the water's flowing over to the right. But I don't see anybody going that direction. I'm not sure why. But here we go. Uh-oh. appears that Kevin has found a rock. This one. Push off of that bad boy. And just kind of a nice slow picking our way through. It's nice and easy, kind of fun. Um, there's rocks under the water, so I know a lot of people are kind of afraid of. If you see it or you bump it, just reach in the water and push yourself off it. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. It'll get your finger pinched. Nice little turning spot. So we have to come through here and then. Yeah, we just made it through Baby Falls. Right? Was that Midget Falls? Oh, no, oh no. That yeah, was not. Oh, I hear some, some good stuff down here, boys. Well, she sounds good. I don't know if it is good, but is that it right there? It's good. I think that's it. Oh. So you can't really tell much from here. You can hear it. So, Midget Falls here, I guess it's called it. You can't really see it, especially on the GoPro there, but you can hear it where we're at. All right, I need to absolutely have to go behind Kevin because he believes this is his day to tip, swim. So, I want to make sure to get that. I want to be the only person that gets it. <laughs> You'll be fine. All right. Here it comes. This is the hot tamale of this section. He clearly thinks it's the second drop, so it wasn't what he first went through there. You just base, you just ease your way through it. Yeah, boy. There we go. The outlet. You missed your Eddie, great. Eddie, Eddie, this way. Up in here with us. All right. Keep coming right, great. F you, boss. So it looks like we're going to run over to the right. Uh oh, 
getting stuck a little bit. There he goes, powering over, he got off of it. Good, good, good. Alright. I think we're eddying out over here to the right. Now we're in a nice little eddy where we can think about our next move. Beautiful spot. Nice, nice. Nice little pour over right there. Oh yeah, surf that bad boy. Let's get in. Let's get in and surf it. Pete's over there while we're doing this, he's over there checking the fall section. Let's see what would be the best way to get down. Right, there's one of the biggest rocks, it's that one I was looking at over there. The most straightforward line is going right over there. Any piton possibility over there? I can't tell, but it's not gonna be something that's gonna stop you from wanting to do it. Not piton enough to be like worried about. The pitons would be like, oh. It's not, it's not a knee breaker. <laughs> well, why don't you lead us? Lead us through the big one. Lead us through the big one. Let, lead us through the big one. You wanna go to the big one? Yeah. Let's do big stuff. Yeah, yeah, you definitely want to call the flush through there. Okay. So I'll take I'll go to the big one. If it don't work out, what are you wanting to do? Give me follow you? I don't care. Yeah, how, come on. How about follow. I just follow why don't you? Why don't you go first? Yeah, I just follow come you. On. Alright, we're gonna follow Pete to the big one. Pete! What are you doing? Come on! We're about to make this happen. Midget Falls. I am? How far to the right? 12 feet. You see the lump rock? Yeah. You want to be to the right of the lump rock. Oh, okay. So you can start right in there and just go right in. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Go it. Do it. All right. I would start on the front side. Not a hard. There you go. Now back drag left. Keep power going. That's a good one. That's a nice little fluffy one. Keep going, keep going. Let's keep go, going, Tracy. Love it, love it. There you go. Very nice, Tracy. All right, so we just went through the Midget Falls and had a good time. And now we have a lot more boulder gardens to traverse. So that's what we're doing now is just basically picking and choosing. Just kind of fall in the water. 
So some of you may have watched the last video where I talked about how my tsunami was, um, you know, using it to do these kind of things was a little bit more difficult uh, than the prion that I'm in now. So, and being in it today, I can already tell, you know, a big difference in, you know, being able to um, point myself where I'm needing to go. So um, that's awesome. It just spins so much easier when I need to spin. So we're gonna put down rudder. Keeps her going straight. All right, so we get to pick ourselves through some more boulder. This is gonna be kind of fun. I'm gonna follow Kevin through here a little bit, but this is one of the more prominent size boulder gardens in this section. And uh, the water's just a little bit higher than what Pete said last time. I believe it was 2.5 feet. Um, Kevin's already found uh, found one, so that's good. But 2.5 feet, and uh, which 2.1 last time he said was pretty low for us. So we're going to uh, most of us ruddered up. Most of us knew we were doing ruddered up, and um, so <laughs> and so we're trying to pick our way through. I don't see any other way over there except for flush and right. Anything over there, Pete? Uh, no, that's not good. Okay. So we're going to flush ourselves this way. The good news about the way. All right. We're going to try to pick ourselves through and then power through. Let's crank her right. Power over. We got Tracy coming in, baby. Give us some power. Give us some power. Uh oh. Yeah, you got it. You're good. Somebody throw him a line. <laughs> Keep going, man. You got it. There we go. Look at Pete giving it the hand of God. Fat kid. Fat kid, kid in a little, little boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and a kayak down on the river. <laughs> Beautiful. Got a little bit. Uh oh, looks like Petey went down. <laughs> That's awesome. Swimmer! Ding! The only way I know when somebody goes down is Pete going back. It's the only way. Go. Paddle hard. Paddle hard. Paddle hard right on that. There you go. Good work. Nice. Go to the right as you go through that drop. To the right? It leads back to the good channel. All the way over there? Yeah. All right. Make sure there's no log. All right. If there is, there is. Can't see it. Yeah. All right. What's chunky mean? Too much for us? Huh? Too much for us? It's, it's, it's a, I, I'm gonna do it. But it's, a, it's a pee toner? Yeah. You got a boat angle left if you go through there and drive it. Boat angle left? Yeah, it's right there. Boat angle left and drive it. Like a rented pack mule. This is the uh, straightforward line. Just follow the flush there. It's nothing to it. Oh, because it's hitting a rock right there, isn't it? Yeah. You can back up, but keep your boat going upstream. Yeah. And get a look at it if you want to. I can kind of see it bouncing off the rock. When you, when you get 
closer, you can see it even more. All right. Where you go at the right of the rock and see the little rooster tail of water? I do. To the left of that. What happens if you don't? Uh, huh? What happens if you don't? I can't tell you. It's going to be funny. <laughs> okay. Pete, I want you to go over that, that side. Now you got to start where I'm at and drive across traffic. Like so. So, so basically I should have drove closer to what would have been the rock that it was going around. Yeah, drive to the left side. Like it looks like you're going to hit the exposed rock. Yep. The, the bad part was here and you flush right into gotcha. it. Gotcha. It's a feel thing. So if you've never done it, yep. you look like you're going to. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there, yeah I sometimes can. big rivers, not this one, big rivers have surges. And so you've got a time to surge too because if you over surge, you over blow the whole thing. If you if you miss the surge, you get peaked on early, and the surge carries you over to the wrong place. It's gotcha. Oh lord, this is a lot lighter. Yeah. Hi,